Hello friends, I thought I'd make this quick video, which is about four minutes long, <coughs> and give you my honest opinions on it. Now, looking at the comments already, it, 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 it's going to be a fun ride. Now, I'm pretty experienced in South African history, pretty experienced, not the best, but pretty experienced. Now, let's get into this. Netherlands, 1652. Uh, let me just stop you right there. The Dutch East India Company made the first European contact with South Africa in the early 17th century. That is incorrect. The first South, the first person to make European to make contact was a Portuguese person in 1480. Yeah, 1480, the 15th century. And they basically erected some crosses and such, and they just left to go to their colonies and such, or India. So, yeah, that's the first and that's the first fallacy. Now, this is already getting me quite angry, because the Dutch did, they, they got one thing right. The Dutch did colonized it in 1652 they made the Cape Colony and, and the like it is an early 17th century early 17th century 52 years into the century <laughs> amazing <laughs> there's a key yeah, I don't even got a comment on that. Wait, 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 wait. So you got... How did you fly there? That's not how they got there. Uh, they went around to get to their colonies. Uh, <laughs> the main reason for making contact is... <laughs> No, that's not it at all. The main reason they went. Uh, the main reason they went. The main reason was because. You listen, Mr. Closely. Because they wanted to get to their colonies. And nobody was there at the time, nobody was stationing up. And then the main reason they were there was because they said because they could fuel themselves and get food and such. So they could restock and go to the India. Go to India. Idiots. <laughs> Common producers. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Dutch Cape Town Colony. <laughs> British Cape Town Colony. Now. To all the inexperienced people, this may seem <laughs> like the British invaded, which they did, but you don't explain why, or will you explain why? Let's see. Only... No! No, we won't. Explain why that first one was taken. So basically, the Napoleonic Wars, the Dutch get, Dutch Netherlands gets taken. And then that, and the Dutch Netherlands gets turned into French Netherlands, or something like the Batavian, I think that's how you said, the Batavian, Batavian, or Batavian government was formed. And then the British wasn't having any of that, so they took the Cape Colony, which was a pretty unfair fight. 5,000 against, 5,000 British against about 1,000 or 2,000 Dutch. Who's gonna win? If, if they were barely armed. <laughs> Billy. Well, they might notice that I'm a bit sick. But yeah, so when, so then the British got scared and they left and the Dutch took over again. But then the British take over again, as you will see. You yeah, see? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You just skimmed over massive amounts of history. 
what, what did he just, just wait? Where does he go in like, like 15 seconds? Yes, over Cape Town for some time. Not to mention, yeah, yeah sure, they got NATO and such. And then they expanded inland, but the Boer Republic was still here. They did a mighty good job of it, humiliating the British and holding them off for a good enough time. Idiots. Because the Boers, as I've explained before, are skilled marksmen. They could hold them off for a very long time. It's just everybody started, everybody, everything started collapsing around them. So, yeah. Wait. Are you kidding? I... I, I really just don't want to do this anymore. The discover... That worsen... That worsen relations with the Boers along with the natives. And you're skipping off the great trick. The founding of the two Boer Republics. The Boer Republic getting in the NATO colony, the NATO Republic getting in, in dissolved into the British Empire. Then you've got the Boer Republics being founded. The war that nearly broke out between the Boer Republics and the wars that they fought. And then the First Boer War. And then everything happening. You forgot all that. <laughs> Well, uh, this goes back and it could do goes to it again. No. The native poor people. Oh. Are, are you kidding? The boars weren't natives. They were just as much as colonials. They were just as much as colonials as the British were. Oh my goodness, sure the Boer Dutch were longer, were being there longer than any British person, but they weren't natives. So you mention it now. You mentioned the Great Trick now. Also, if it says the Orange Free State was found, the <laughs> about twelve thousand. And also, the transform was for the first idiot. Um, um, I just really would like to know who made this. <laughs> after, after the war of bloody rhythm, after the war of bloody river, <laughs> oh, you mean the battle of blood river? Oh, oh my. And this, this is just amazing. Okay, now I'll talk a little bit on the Bl Battle of Blood River. As you know, the Boers were tricking inland, and, and they went into what we now know as, as NATO for the entire Republic. But before that, the Battle of Blood River was made, where about 434 men with guns and a few pioneers and such got their carts and went in a circle. And they went up against 80,000 troops. Guess who won? The Boers. The Boers won. And then the entire Republic was formed. Celebration was short lived. Okay, so this is. Do you mean. That NATO was taken, the Tra South African Republic was was formed. It was the Orange Free State. The Orange Free State prospered immensely, and the Transvaal or Orange Free or South African Republic was becoming broken and absorbed into the British Empire. Is that what you mean? And then the first war broke out, which the Boers won. <laughs> Okay, 
okay, this is sort of correct, but at the same time, why are you showing a picture of the first Dutch settlers being painted inside South Africa? This is, this makes absolutely zero sense. Okay, yeah, force boar, obviously. That's a picture of the boars in the second boar. War. It didn't result in British acceptation of the Transvaal. The First World War resulted in the Transvaal independence. You talk about the Second Boer War. Second Boer War. There you go. Okay. And, and Orange Free State. And Orange Free State. I want to die. Okay. As you can see, here's a picture. I don't know why it's there, but it's no sense. The result of the... Actually, yeah, three years. Or two, actually, if you count. Three, three, one. Yeah, but the Boers played well. Technically, it was a victory for them because they got paid. And they got given a bigger colony uh, about some years later. Which they ruled over, and then they got German South West Africa. Wasn't just the British colonies in South Africa, it was the Boer colonies as well. Independence in 1948, no, 1931. 1931! Yes, the people were exploited and abused, but then but slavery was abolished. So it was only the Boer states that used it for quite a while. There was only racism. There wasn't, there wasn't slavery. Why are you showing pictures of slaves? Okay, yeah, I just want to get this on the chest. If you see this video, avoid it at all costs. Avoid, avoid at all costs. Do you mean the Belgian Congo? I think you mean the Belgian Congo. <laughs> and stop thinking that the British ruled South Africa. Sure, but they sick, technically ruled it. But the Boers were in control of that area. Stop saying it was, it was the Boers who created apartheid. <laughs> Which is a mistake, by the way. <laughs> you got one thing right. What you don't talk about is Germans in World War One. What you also don't talk about is that they conquered German Southwest Africa. And that territory may have been important. <sighs> Blacks rule the country now. And it's the white who should be worried. Freaking hell. I want to die. I I just I just I just really want to die.